Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a very powerful and rare reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm see that you guys like this sort of content, like these videos, and gets it seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. I wouldn't be here without you all, so thank you. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of on one of the most powerful energy days of the year. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. This is the high priestess. Okay, so this makes sense. We have, we have four days a year that are just absolutely chock full of power and energetically charged and really help us grow into our spiritual beings. And that's the solstices and the equinoxes. I find those very hard to say in the plural tense. So here, it doesn't matter what solstice, what solstice you you celebrate whether you're in the southern hemisphere and it's the winter solstice or you're in the northern hemisphere and it's the summer solstice we're going to find the influx of of energy of psychic energy especially because the especially because neptune is squared the galactic center which is already causing this huge awakening to to be a part of our world we're going to find this to be to be just a bit overwhelming leo so just be aware of this be aware of your psychic intuition being intense and kind of, I don't want to say it knocks you off your game, but it kind of does knock you off your game. You like things to be a little bit more straightforward. And here it's all the feelings, all the emotions, all the, you know, everything coming at you. And it makes it hard to know how to shine, right? Because you're ruled by the sun. The sun is like, I shine, this is what I do. But with all this energy coming at us, it's like, how do I shine? How do I traverse this? So be aware of that. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels, oh goodness, this one right here. Oh, peace, I love that. Embracing peace. Embracing whatever peace looks like for you is going to be one of the most important things we can do for ourselves. To really sit there and say, I choose peace. It's choosing peace. It's choosing happiness. It's choosing love. And it might not be manifested in our world right now the way that we dreamt of it when we were teenagers, you know? But it's saying, I choose to move forward with peace at my center, with calm at my center. And it's easy to do this when everything is going right. It's hard to do this when it isn't. So calming and centering and loving ourselves, that's going to be so important. I know I've shared this with you if you've watched my, my last video, but I was talking to a, a Qigong master and he said, smile. He says, one of the simplest things you can do to help improve your life is smile. And I thought, uh, yeah, everybody says that, right? Smile and increases serotonin. Smile, you know, it tricks your brain into, you know, being happy. Uh, a frown is just a smile upside down, right? So turn it upside down. And he said, it's because you have meridians in your jaw and on your lips. Those meridians in your, on your jaw that are activated when you smile, they're for your liver. 
the ones on your lips are for your pancreas. And there's a need. You know, your pancreas holds worry and fear, and your liver holds anger. And when you smile, it releases. It releases our fear. It releases our anger. And I started smiling. I didn't realize how life had become so intense and so overwhelming at times. The smiling wasn't something I just did automatically, and I'm a pretty happy person. You know, my baseline happiness is pretty high. So here, smile. Smile, it can change your life. It will change your life. You might feel like you, you look like a fool for always smiling. Who cares what everybody thinks? Let yourself smile. It's going to be so important during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. <laughs> okay, there we go. Look at you. We have the sun. You're ruled by the sun, Leo. So if you have a question and you're looking for a yes or no answer, the answer is yes. So that just comes through right here. Also know that Venus and Mars are in Leo. And this calls us to fill our life with beauty, to fill our life with light and, and color and, and just beauty. We also have the strength card here, which represents us. You know, we're represented by strength in the major arcana. We have the, the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the, the Four of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Cups, Quarter Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This solstice is the beginning of cancer of the cancer time frame. This is us becoming a student of our heart. And the cancer time frame tells us, you know, what do you love? It connects us with family or what has what family means to us. It connects us with home and what home means to us. We're finding balance in our emotions and it starts with the solstice where we are first flooded with emotions. If you want to have a a group meditation because this is a time where if you meditate it would be so powerful. It would be like tenfold, tenfold, tenfold would be the power of the meditation. If you want to do it as a group, I have a link to F Spring Forest Qigong group meditation, you know, in the description box below. So if you would like that, this is a powerful time. If you want to meditate on your own, powerful, powerful time for, for meditating, for connecting. There's a strong need to connect with your root chakra during this time. What grounds you? What roots you? There's a sense of of not really feeling as grounded as you need to. So be aware of that. Let's talk about, about things a little bit deeper, astrologically speaking. Okay, this solstice is between Saturn going retrograde on the, on the 17th of, of June, which is also the new moon, right? And Neptune stationary retrograde on the 30th of June. And we feel this in control and power, right? Represented by, by Saturn. And we'll feel the control and power in our life. There is a sense almost might equals right. And we have to remember to step back in healing love. That's going to be really important to us, right? Neptune stationary retrograde has us feeling emotionally overwhelmed. We can feel astoundingly sensitive. It can be very easy for us to cry. We can almost feel like, oh my gosh, what am I, a teenager again? You know, type of deal because we're just so sensitive. It's like the wind blows and we feel it emotionally. Be aware of that. We also become aware of deceptions and illusions. We do. And it's going to be something where we're looking at it and we're like, oh man, you know, what the heck? What the heck is this? We can want to seek out truth, which will be very important to us, but we want to seek out letting ourselves shine, letting ourselves move forward. Okay. Again, Neptune is squared the galactic center, which awakens us psychically. You know, our psychic sensitivities become aware. You know, we start to become more and more aware. We are also moving towards a great awakening and we, we see this and we feel this. Jupiter is in Taurus, which calls us to find the simple joys in life. It's not going to be the big, big things. It's going to be the simple things that matter and they really, really matter. If you want to go deeper into the astrology, I have linked in the description box below Pam Gregory's YouTube site. I think she's awesome. So go check her out. The sun, we're shining. The sun is having us shine. And there is a sense here of how do I embrace my beauty, my light? How do I shine? How do I move forward? What does shining mean for me? And where do I need to be in my life for myself? The sun is, is power. It's warmth. It's connection. It's growing. But the sun can also be terribly fierce. 
Be aware about how bright you expect yourself to shine during this time, Leo, because we can burn ourselves out. You know, being so bright, so radiant, so so powerful, so forceful. So just be aware of this. But this is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. We're crowned with happiness, with joy, with connection, with love. We then have the strength card, which represents us, again, in the major arcana. This is the essence of us moving forward. We're going to find unlikely pairings. We're going to find unlikely ways forward. That We're going to sit there and think, you know, if somebody would have told me this when I was younger, I never would have believed them. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. But, or not bad, but maybe not as ideal as we would want it to be. But remember, whatever we focus on with Jupiter in Taurus, Taurus has the ability of manifestation. Whatever we focus on, whether it be positive or negative, we will get. Spirit is leading us. Spirit is leading us in a direction we never would have chosen for ourselves or we never would have thought of for ourselves. Our greatest strength is not in brute force, though we're, we're quite good at that. You know, Leo energy in a negative form can be very good at bullying. So just be aware. But when we look at what we desire, what we want, what we love, what's important to us, and we lead by the heart, and we lead by the strength of our emotions and our convictions, and what is sacred and lovely and beautiful to us, we're unstoppable. The Knight of Pentacles, slowly and steadily, methodically, moving towards your success. You're dealing with somebody here as well. An earth sign energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. But it's going to be, it doesn't have to be their sun sign, right? This could be within their, their, their chart, which you might not know about. Know about. Slowly and steadily moving towards success is how this person works. They're not quick to act, though you might think that they are. They tend to think about it a lot. Look at all the different angles. Question. Seek. And this is also going to be something that you're learning during this time. To look at things through different eyes. To look at things more deeply, more openly, more honestly for yourself. This isn't about moving quickly. Though we would like it to be about moving quickly. This is about moving honestly for us in financial success and prosperity. With the Four of Swords, we need to rest. And we need to know that even when we rest, we have our armor on. We're not giving ourselves a chance to heal. We're afraid of where spirit will lead us. There's a part of us that is asleep. There's a part of us that is in hibernation. And it's gone in hibernation because it's like, okay, listen, right now, too intense. Or we even we might have even thought, oh, wow, I'm so lame to like this or that or to be like this or that. Now I'm going to kind of be like more like everybody else and let myself shine in the arena that everybody else is playing in. Now it's time to let yourself shine as you. Listen to your dreams. Listen to your compassion. Listen to what you desire. You're opening up doors in ways that you hadn't imagined you could. And this moves you in a direction once you let yourself rest, once you listen to your dreams, that you're like, oh, I didn't realize. Spirit is whispering to you when you sleep. Keep a dream journal, you know, in meditation, See what comes to you because you're going to see. I actually, I'm seeing you have doors open to you. Okay, like meditating and seeing a door open or seeing a portal come. And it's like, walk this way, look at it like this, you know, seek out this. You need to root yourself and ground yourself. There's a sense here of, of being not as tethered as you need to be. It's not like with financial responsibilities and everything like that because you can be like, wow, Dane, I'm totally overburdened here. But there's a sense of, I just see giving yourself deep roots and seeing what's sacredly and personally and powerfully important to you that comes during this time. With the Four of Cups, we are, we are so set in seeing things the way that we want to see them. We are. We are so set in this is the way that it is. This is how I have to look at it. This is what needs to be done right now that we're not going to hear a spirit actually shouting at us like, hey, look over here. If you hear people talking to you, like I know this sounds silly, not that's not silly, but you know, it can be disconcerting, right? Where you hear somebody say, hey, look over here and you turn and you look and there's nobody there or wait for me and you stop and there, there's nobody catching up with you, right? Spirit is going to be talking to you. Listen, listen, and you will be surprised at where it leads you, of how you, you manifest your way forward. Spirit is giving you little signs that are, are really quite loud 
If you don't listen, spirit's going to make you slow down and listen. Because the way that you're you're wanting to to do it is so much harder. You could do it this way, right? But it's so much harder than the way spirit wants you to connect. The repeat of the number four, listen to your body. Your body is going to be talking to you in a very real way, in a very powerful way. Listen. Connecting with your heart. Your root chakra and your heart chakra, super important. Emotions can feel all over the place. Acknowledging that is going to be a very powerful thing. You're going to find inspiration in the most unlikely of places, in the most unlikely of spaces. You're going to be finding yourself once you quiet. The heart is opening. And you're becoming a student of what you truly love. Now, I'm seeing a child. Now, it could be a child that's going to teach you a heck of a lot of what's important to your heart and your soul and yourself. This can also be somebody who has very young, innocent energy to them, where it's like, well, look at it this way. And it just makes all the sense in the world to them. And this doesn't mean that this person has to be young. This person could be quite old. And it's like, Oh, well, look at it this way. And you're like, what? Why are you talking like that? Like, why are you being so happy or carefree or, or don't you understand? And they're going to look at you and say, I understand more than you ever realize. Like, this person knows more than you could possibly imagine. But they are choosing not to let their heart be weighed down. And that's going to be one of the most extraordinary things. It's like, I am choosing not to have my heart laid down. Embracing your love, becoming a student, listening. You're also jumping, it's like, you know, going from, a, like, what is the saying? A, a small fish in a, a big fish in a small pond, and then a small fish in a big pond. You're going to a bigger pond. You're, you're like spreading your wings, okay? As you follow your heart, it's going to be taking you on a bit of an adventure. So be aware of this. Excuse me as I sneeze. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of. The Princess of Pentacles, Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seeing prosperity in a very certain way. And this is a person who is very immature when it comes to money. They could think money solves everything, which, I mean, it helps, right? But it doesn't solve everything. But this can also, this is also a person who's very reckless with money. And doesn't see that they're reckless with money. It's like, well, I deserve. And it's like, okay, yeah, you can deserve that. But be mindful. Be mindful and be aware. Like if you deserve that, you have to understand the consequence of, you know, of it. And and they just don't. So just be aware of that. Our subconscious spirit message is spiritual. Embracing the spiritual. Embracing the place between, you know, wick. And, and fire, that place of the void, the place of the expanse. Finding what spiritual means to us, whether it be orthodoxy or unorthodoxy, whether it be, you know, in a community or solitary, it doesn't matter. Embracing our spiritual, embracing our spiritual heart and our profound center and opening ourselves up to it. Our subconscious tarot message. Is the Ace of Cups reversed? Emotionally, we are overwhelmed. We're taking this gift of healing, beautiful love. But we're not necessarily sure how to process it. It's like everything is falling out, right? You turn a cup upside down, all the water falls out. That's just how it works. And we can feel like everything we thought was supposed to be just falls out. It's just overwhelming. It's just intense. This is going to be a time where we do feel we be. I mean, you know, Neptune is retrograde, right, on the 30th. And we feel that effect before and, and after. Let the tears come. Because we're clearing out the past. We're clearing out the negativity, the hurt, the pain, the disappointment, the chaos. Subconsciously, we know this. We're fighting it. We're fighting it because it's not necessarily the way that we thought it should be. Or, you know, we don't want to be so emotional or have our emotions get the best of us. We're going to be learning so much from our emotions during this time that it's going to be surprising. We're going to look back and be like, wow, that was an awakening. Or wow, that was something I never knew I had to learn. And it's propelling us forward in a profound way. 
All right. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and enjoy this purely sacred time. Bye.